Hola, buen dia. Hi guys, Sterling Adish here and this is another The Weekend Feels Energy Report from Medida with love. So guys, that was one hell of a week. Yeah, pretty powerful, intense stuff going on worldwide. Everyone is going through massive, massive transformation. It continues. We are smack dab in the middle of eclipse season. The portal has opened. We have entered our learning chamber. The wheel of change is definitely in motion. I'm sure many of you have been going through a lot. Okay. Since last Friday, we had our full moon in Sagittarius, lunar eclipse on the south node, looking at the past. So what has happened? This eclipse has opened up has opened up something pretty major for us. We have really started to see the crap inside. It's like looking in, there's a wound. It looks like a wound. It's actually a zit full of old crap. And we're looking and we're seeing all the crap that's in there. So a lot has probably been coming up for a lot of people. We've also had quite an intense, challenging aspect with the sun and Mars. So we've been oh, feeling all kinds of stuff. Mars being in Pisces, watery, flowing Pisces. Um, so we've been feeling like we want to take action. There's like frustrations. We want to express ourselves and do things and yet there's something that's been really keeping us stuck in a situation or in places that perhaps no longer serve us a lot of sensitivity we have been so sensitive so emotional so much emotion like frustration anger sadness deep sadness deep releasing is happening and it's super important because where you're feeling that pain, where that light is shining, that is what is blocking you. That is what is stopping you from moving to the next phase. Okay, so this is a time of either you are truly living in your mastery and living your truth, living your magic, so you could be having this incredible time, this amazingly magical time. There's so much powerful energy to do with magic and the arts and creativity and divine connection, spiritual, uh, uplifting, uh, incredible energy for that. So either you're living this incredible experience, like totally connected to what you know you need to do and doing what you need to know, or you may be going through a lot of pain and emotions and feeling a lot and confusion and illusion and what is going on? There's so much going on in the sky, guys, but right now we are just about to perfect a pretty intense alignment between Mars and Neptune and the moon, okay? And Mars and Neptune are in Pisces. Pisces is incredible, mutable water energy, okay? But all together, Neptune is being massively triggered. There is a major, major storm brewing. Poseidon, Neptune, the god of the seas is moving is stirring and the storm is coming to clear the path okay but the storm is arriving the storm has already been brewing okay but now this weekend we're getting into that storm we're going directly into that storm so we have mars and neptune together mars our drive but our drive is skewed because 
Neptune is causing us a little bit of delusion, illusion, confusion. We're confused. We don't know what's going on. There's so much going on everywhere. Reality is not what it seems, may not be what it seems. Um, and perhaps your mind may be telling you things that aren't true. Okay, so this is really a time of over mental stimulation, like there's so much Gemini season still happening, that active mutable air energy is still happening, totally over stimulating your senses on a multitude of levels. So Neptune is bringing up subconscious, unconscious, repressed, hidden, underworld stuff, okay? We began looking at this with, um, this is so interesting. There's like confusion in the hallway. There's all kinds of noise. I can barely concentrate on what I'm doing. It's just, that's the kind of energy we're dealing with. We're trying to understand what's going on and there's some kind of confusion out there all around us all the time. So, um, where was I? Yeah. So Neptune is stimulating all this stuff, emotions, moodiness. We're super moody. We're up, we're down, we're left, we're right. We're anxious, we're happy. It's all very intense, very extreme. And What's really important to know is that when Mars and Neptune come together, it's like a force to be reckoned with. It is like the ocean god brewing a massive torrential storm, okay? And it's not, it's not necessarily a fun time. It can be, depending on where you're at in your consciousness, but it's really like a storm uh, 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 is brewing, things are moving, and whatever you have been denying, suppressing, rejecting, avoiding, hiding, it's all coming up. It's all coming up. It's coming up. We are in the moment of looking at all that stuff that you are avoiding, that you are not, that you are denying. Like. It's coming up so that you can witness, see, and understand what needs to go. And this is a very karmic time of deep release. We're still doing this deep purging, this deep releasing. We continue through this retrograde season reviewing major aspects of life. And let's remember we have four planets still in retrograde. Venus is still in retrograde. Okay, everything Venusian is having a challenge. Like, but, but we're coming to the end of the Venus retrograde. By the end of the month, we will start to get out of that Venus retrograde. But just as we're coming to the end of one, next week we have another big retrograde, two massive retrogrades coming. Next, this is the last week of Gemini season. And next thursday we are starting our mercury retrograde another fun retrograde a lot of people have a misunderstanding about mercury retrograde lots of people fear mercury mercury retrograde but actually mercury retrograde happens three times a year it's a very common retrograde and it's it's a pretty simple retrograde in that we're just looking at the way we communicate the way we travel the way we um, communicate, travel, and technology. All the mercurial stimulated things. However, because there's so much going on, I'm pretty sure this Mercury retrograde is going to be quite intense combined with everything else. And um, even more intense coming is our Neptune retrograde coming on the 22nd. So our illusions, our connection with magic, mystery, the arts, creativity, escapism, delusion, confusion, uh, we are on a wild Neptune ride. Neptune is taking us for a wild ride, okay? 
This week, we have one more week in Gemini season, like I was saying. Before we get into Cancer, we get into water. So we've got this, we're, we're quite stimulated still. We've got, we've got a lot of Gemini energy still happening. And we've got a lot of Pisces energy. And more than anything that we have going on, we have massive mutable energy. Mutable energy, the four, there are four mutable signs. So there's Pisces, massive Pisces energy right now with Mars and Neptune happening. Um, we also have the moon in, in, in Pisces this weekend, so our emotions as well. We have a ton happening in Gemini, another mutable, mutable air. Sagittarius, our south node, we just had the eclipse. And Virgo, the opposite of Pisces. So anyone with those four signs uh, is going through quite a time. But every one of us has all four of these signs in our chart and in our personality. So we're all being affected in different ways. Once again, if you know your chart, you can go and see where Pisces is, particularly Gemini. Um, and we also have Capricorn, we have Jupiter, and Pluto and Capricorn. I mean, there, there's so much going on. It's comedy. It's, almost, it's like a dark, satirical comedy, what's going on. Um, this is not normal. Okay, astrologically speaking, this is one hell of a year. It's, I mean, we all know it, we all feel it. We're all going through a lot, a lot. And this June, God dang, this is a serious, serious moment of massive, it's a massive turning point, okay? We are really, letting go of our past, letting go of what doesn't work, and looking at what doesn't work. And right now, this weekend, this, this eclipse, we've just entered the eclipse season, but this last eclipse last weekend opened the portal. There's no going back. We are changing, transforming, growing, and it is not necessarily pleasant. Okay, so what we really need to understand is right now, are you aligned with your truth? Are you living your life aligned with what you know you need to do? Where are you deceiving yourself? Where are you denying yourself? Where are you avoiding taking actions because you don't want to hurt someone, you don't want to go against the grain, you want to not cause conflict, you want everyone to like you, like all of this stuff is being exposed, like it's not gonna fly, it's not gonna fly. So whatever, wherever you are bullshitting yourself, it's coming up right now and if you are bullshitting yourself it's going to be slightly painful uncomfortable and unpleasant because it can't stay we're evolving we're transforming we're becoming our greater selves and we can't take this old baggage with us so we have to let go we have to surrender we have to shine that light into that crap and see where that crap no longer serves us. And we need to rid ourselves, free ourselves in order to upgrade, in order to live our best life, in order to become who we are meant to be, okay? So what are you suppressing? What, are you, what beliefs are you holding on to that are outdated? Beliefs, South Node and Sag, Sag is like, beliefs, holding on to beliefs. What are you believing in that it's not real? It doesn't really serve you. It's outdated. It's old. It doesn't make any sense. When you see yourself spewing out some kind of crap, look at that. That's where you want to shine that light to understand why 
Why are you holding on to this? What? Why are you holding on to something that no longer serves you? Unprogramming, deprogramming. We are letting go of wanting to all be the same. We are all uniquely sovereign on an individual journey of becoming. We can't do things because we want someone to like us. We can't do something because we're afraid of being ostracized. We have to have the power, the strength to be ourselves because each unique individual, one of us, we're all working together. But if we're trying to do something for approval, um, if we're deceiving ourselves, if we're denying the fact that we don't have the skills or we're afraid, like there's no harm in saying, I'm afraid. Okay, you're afraid? Why? Why are you afraid? What are you afraid of? You're afraid of failing? You can't grow without falling on your face. You're gonna fall on your face and it's okay. You just pick yourself up again and you keep going. Otherwise, there's no progress. Otherwise, we're stuck. The, uh, the energy stuck and we're immutable. We're changing, we're shifting, we're molding. So towards our curiosity, towards opening away from being closed and rigid and stuck, we're moving away from holding on we are moving towards letting go, okay? So this weekend, it's gonna be painfully obvious, painfully obvious if you are suppressing, denying, whatever you are doing that's not in alignment with yourself, you will feel that shit. You will feel it. It won't feel good. You will see where you're deceiving yourself. You will see where others have deceived you. You will see the deception clearly. And if you are living magic, bliss, joy, incredible upgrades, connection with the spiritual realm, creativity beyond imagination, you know you're doing the right thing. You're either going to feel this incredible, amazing energy, or you're going to feel bad. But that's okay. If you feel bad, you know what to work with. You know where to look. You know what to let go of. Basically, you cannot cover a shit <laughs> in glitter, gold glitter, and then call it gold. It's not gold. It's a shit covered in gold glitter. Where we're going, there's no shit covered in gold glitter. Where we're going, there's just gold. Okay. This kind of energy can really be hard for a lot of people. It can really be a pressure, like a massive pressure. And it can be a pressure on the mind. It can really cause mental stress, anxiety, escapism, mental illness, mental instability. So just be gentle with your mind. Your mind might be telling you bullshit. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype outside. Don't believe the hype within. Don't get too caught up on thinking it's reality because we don't actually know what's really going on. We are really in, we're in the eye of, we're in the storm. We can't see, we have to go through the storm. So right now it's all about questioning going within it's really a good time to to uh, touch base with yourself to go within it's an excellent time meditating creating art sitting and just feeling journaling writing uh also we have all this energy so you know like uh exercise uh a lot of people are going to want to indulge in escapism drugs and alcohol you know cool it's not going to solve your problems it's not going to lead you to the gold but it will take away some temporary uncomfortableness which is great if you need to just feel better like 
do what you need to do to feel better. The point is, we're not here to suffer, right? This is extreme, 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 extreme energy, extreme times of growth, transformation. So just really, you know, this week is the last week before we go into another eclipse. We're shifting out of Gemini into Cancer. We're going to our second total solar eclipse in Cancer. Moving into water. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be a lot. Uh, so this, is, is, this weekend's really important. Take care of yourselves. Listen to your truth. Are you following? The signs, are you listening to your intuition? Whatever has been calling softly to you, listen to your voice, your internal voice. You have the wisdom. If you listen, you will know what to do. You know what to do. You are your master. You are the master of yourself. No one else can tell you what you need to do. You have to know it to listen to it and follow your own path. And we're all on an individual path. Guys, I pulled a bunch of cards. Wheel of Fortune, major, major turning point. Critical, this is a critical moment of change. Karma, everything is changing, everything is moving, everything is leaving the past behind. Uh, so cherish the bliss and Accept it's passing and new is coming, okay? Um, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, Queen of Wands reversed, okay? The Queen of Wands reversed is honor your needs. It's time to rebuild your sense of self, okay? Whatever is skewed, whatever has been deceiving you, it's time to work on yourself, like in touch with yourself, being with yourself, listening to your voice of truth, okay? Um, and, and, and it's not what others want you to do. It's not what you think you need to do. It's not what you should do or you could do to make everyone like you. No, it's so much deeper than that. Like everyone needs to stand up and be individual sovereign because it will help the entire collective when you are living in your power and your truth and we need everyone to step up and live their power and their truth this is not a time of inaction inaction okay it's a time of rebuilding yourself okay um, we have the Nine of Cups reversed, which is realigning with your highest good, listening to what is your highest good. Instead of looking outside, looking within. All the answers are within. But it takes a bit of work, it takes a bit of time to understand how to hear your voice because we're often distracted there's so much going on so much information like trying to distract us from our brilliant beautiful truth that each one of us possesses another two cards that I just want to share with you integration beautiful the fusing of all dualities of all opposites the coming together fall together into your wholeness your darkness is not something to suppress, deny. It's part of who you are, just like the yin and the yang. It's the dark and the light. Is the whole integrated being. It's a time of integration now. Let yourself come together. And finally, this gorgeous card, the source, like a brilliant sun within you. You have all the power, all the strength, all the knowledge, all the wisdom within you always. You have only to go to the source to understand just how important, how powerful, how beautiful, how special, how unique you are. You have all the tools to do what you need, okay? 
Guys, not an easy time. Please take very good care of yourselves. If you are in pain, do not despair. The pain is to make you aware. Aware of what needs your attention, your love, and what you need to work on. Let go, release, so you can upgrade. And so you can feel good. You're not here to suffer. I'm sending you tons.